Hey friends, welcome back to a new video. Have you ever heard of Stellaris? It is apparently a grand strategy game developed by Tartarus, probably saying that wrong, and published by Paradox Studios. You know I'm a big Paradox fan as of recent. So in the recent sale I checked it out and uh, I've heard about Stellaris over the over the last couple of years and I haven't gone around to getting it to actually buying it until just recently because news of their update 2.2 that apparently it brought it up to uh, a better standard released on consoles and I've been wanting a reason to get the game and that seemed as good as one of any but I stepped into this game pretty much pretty much blank like I didn't I didn't know too much I knew a little I had watched a couple videos checking out Stellaris um, but for the most part I knew very little about the game so I wanted to do a series of videos that kind of <laughs> detail my first experience of the game jumping in with very little like I didn't watch uh, how to videos or anything like that I watched a few videos just to be like is this really a game I want to check out and it got me to it convinced me so here I am uh, checking out Stellaris so let's just dive right in okay so I spent way too long developing my own race I admit but I mean come on first time you play you gotta make your own race you can't just go pick in somebody else's race I mean everybody's different some people some people will pick, pick the pre-existing I had to make my own sorry that's just how I am um, but yeah so there's my home world Vale uh, I don't know why I named it Vale I just did um, gotta get rid of those sprawling slums I, I picked I did pick that up from a video I will admit I did pick that up from a video I was watching. Somebody said, you always got to get rid of your sprawling slums because it gives you one pop, which stands for your people. And uh, ethics trees, honestly, I have no idea what all this stuff is yet. Prosperity sounds great. Let's go prosperity. <laughs> um, I, I'm obviously going to learn more of this along, um, along the along the time I play but right now I'm just kinda like I don't know prosperity sounds good yeah that sounds good cost reduced build speed excellent Plentyvale has completed its construction queue yeah like these districts and these buildings I only kinda know what they do like city districts have a lot more housing which I guess gives me a lot more people space um technician jobs that gives me more money they're actually energy credits so it's like a mix between so energy is like a mix between energy and money it's it's mostly like but it's it's like planetful where energy is money minerals that's like it's like your building blocks and food um i'm I'm not 100%. The food definitely doesn't work like Planetfall in this one. Like, food, I I don't know. I, I'll build that too. I'll build I'll build a farm. Why not? But in in, in Planetfall, the more food you have, the quicker your people grow. I don't know if that's the case here. I'm not seeing a. I'm not seeing that at all. Amenities, trade value. Like there's so many there's so many different resources in this game. I really like that though. I do like that. All right. Well, that builds. I'm gonna go ahead and show off. So, I'm a I'm a race of wormy worms. See, like I look like a hydra, but I'm I'm not scaly. I'm like a hydra worm. I love it. Um, I think I named myself the the Cyraths. Yeah, Cyrath Cyrathians, Cyrathians. Kehu Destu Legacy. Oh. Of the populace's political leanings. Be aware that shifts in the social political climate may give rise to factions. Details on faction sizes, attractiveness to our pops, and how content they are can also be found here. Okay, cool. Factions. 
I have no factions, it looks like. That's kind of neat. I wonder what they can do. Can I, like, send them to fight for me? <laughs> Happiness. Displease. Influence generate. Oh, great. Another resource. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I have any right now. intelligent beings we have encountered. We can toggle species to display only citizens of our empire or all known denizens of the galaxy. Huh, okay. So there's my Kyrathians. There's my traits. Uh, so here it'll show me all the other aliens I find. Interesting. Research complete. Ah, excellent. My, my uh, eco simulation is finished. Yeah, see right here. Oh, my research. Oh, get on my way. Um, genome mapping, pop growth speed plus 10%, hydroponic farming, food processing. So I have like two food researches and then one uh, extra, like biological research. Um, but it says this one increases my, my, the speed of my population. So they're not just grown like in Plantiful based on how much food I have. It actually takes time, obviously, because it's not a turn based game. But I, I don't understand because in Plantiful, the food dictates how quickly things grow, but in here it looks like research dictates how fast it grows. So I, I don't even know how to correctly utilize food right now. I, I'm, yeah, is, is food just like just like something you eat in the game? I guess I'll figure it out as I go along. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, there's a lot of symbols underneath these planets. Am I getting those? Do I need to get those? Here's my here's my galaxy. I made a small galaxy. First time I, I thought might as well do it a smaller one. Haven't haven't met anyone else because you know I haven't been outside my system. But uh, yeah, I don't know how to I don't know how to get outside my system. But then I don't know what I'm doing here. Like those those minerals, those red gems. How do I get those? Is that mining it? Safe harbor mining station. I guess that's mining it. Do I have to tell them to mine it? Where's my build chip? See, like, that one has stuff on it. That has gears. How do I get the gears? Oh. Okay. Perfect. Build. Research station. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm gonna get those gears. Research these ones. See, why don't, why don't these ones have symbols on them? Have they not been researched? It's not showing up for... Oh! Assist research. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'll have him assist research then. Alright, guys. We've made it to a new system. I went ahead and skipped ahead a while because, honestly, I mean, as that clip showed, it was a lot of reading, a lot of learning. Uh, I finally figured out how to expand uh, my empire. I need a science vessel. And I need a scientist on that science vessel. And I, I kept trying to, my science ship wouldn't leave. I needed a scientist. I finally figured it out. I find the right text, uh, figured it out. Feeling good. Like, things are things are going a little bit smoother now. Um, I spent, <laughs> oh, as you can see, it's the year 202017. It has been 17 years since my species made it to space. And just now we've started expanding, so probably a little bit behind. I hope that doesn't matter. I'm on, I'm on easy difficulty or enzyme difficulty. I don't know. I'm on the low difficulty, so hopefully the AI is not going to show up and punish me for being 17 years slow. But yeah, figuring it out bit by bit, kind of. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. Wait, where my scientists go? Did I click on the wrong ship? Hold on a second. Ah. <sighs> anyway, that's kind of the cool, that's kind of the gameplay loop there. Like, I, it took me way too long to figure it out, but now that I know it, like, that's a big part. You gotta get your science vessels, you send them out into deep space, then you send your construction ships after them, and you build in those systems and then that expands your empire so cool beans 
Also queuing, a lot of queuing. Square to queue. You push square on something, tell him to do something, then you put square on something else, and then we'll tell him to do that after he's done with that next thing. That one's very important. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I feel like this video has been dragging on a little bit. It's a little bit uh, tedious trying to learn a lot of these new mechanics and stuff. I'm going to make more videos like this. They're going to be a lot, they're, they're, they're going to be around this length, but they're going to be a lot more eventful. Like this one was mostly just me reading texts and trying to figure out how to click. Yeah. It, in the next videos, you're definitely going to see an expansion of the Kyrathian Empire. Let me just let you know. We'll see how that goes. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions, any comments, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll keep doing these. If you have any suggestions don't don't do like gameplay tips just yet um we'll get into those later but uh you know just feel free to leave whatever if you want to leave gameplay tips you know thank you um but yeah so until next time guys take care thank you for watching